Google has reportedly given a small group of companies access to an early version of Gemini, its conversational artificial intelligence software intended to compete with OpenAI's GPT-4 model, ChatGPT. For Google, the stakes of Gemini's launch are high. Google has intensified investments in generative AI this year as it plays catch up after Microsoft backed OpenAI's launch of ChatGPT last year, which took the tech world by storm. So what is Gemini? Gemini is a collection of large language models that power everything from chatbots to features that either summarize text or generate original text based on what users want to read, such as email drafts, music lyrics, or news stories. It is also expected to help software engineers write code and generate original images based on what users ask to see. Google is currently giving developers access to a relatively large version of Gemini, but not the largest version it is developing, which would be more on a par with GPT-4. Google plans to make Gemini available to companies through its Google Cloud Vertex AI service. The launch of ChatGPT last November shook Google to its foundations. The popular chatbot posed such a threat to the company's business that it had to declare a code red and begin investing in catching up on the generative AI bandwagon. This effort has not only resulted in the release of Google Bard, but also Gemini. With researchers anticipating that the estimated generative AI market will be worth $1.3 trillion by 2032, it is clear that Google is going all in on investing in this space to maintain its position as a leader in AI development. For all the talk about Google's Gemini being compared to GPT-4, the large language model on which ChatGPT functions, let's understand what GPT-4 is. GPT-4 is a large multimodal model that can accept both text and image inputs and produce human-like text output. For example, with GPT-4, you can upload a worksheet or a graph and it will be able to study the document and respond to queries. Now, with Gemini, Google is set to incorporate this with AlphaGo programs techniques. According to Google, AlphaGo is a computer program that combines advanced search trees with deep neural networks. These networks take a description of the board of the game Go as an input and process it through a number of different network layers containing millions of neuron-like connections. One neural network named the policy network selects the next move to play. The other neural network named the value network predicts the winner of the game. Google introduced AlphaGo to numerous amateur players to help develop an understanding of reasonable human play. Then they had it play against different versions of itself thousands of times which helped it learn from its mistakes each time. This effective learning technique called reinforcement learning improved AlphaGo and it became increasingly stronger and better at learning and decision making. AlphaGo went on to defeat Go world champions in different global arenas. Gemini will ideally see a large language model incorporating AlphaGo's techniques to process data. The reason why this is an advantage for Google is ChatGPT's declining accuracy rate. The accuracy of ChatGPT has reportedly dwindled and the reason for this could be the lack of data or training required to stay on a par with the human brain and its expectations. For example, researchers say that the declining accuracy of ChatGPT is due to excessive usage by consumers that has led to abnormal cracks being seen. However, with Gemini, Google is not expected to face such an issue because Google's array of data is endless and this will be combined with AlphaGo's training methods and networks. Perhaps the biggest differentiator between the two is Google's vast array of proprietary training data. Google's Gemini can process data taken from across services, including Google Search, YouTube, Google Books, Google Scholar, you name it. Gemini's ability to generate text and images gives it a serious advantage over ChatGPT with respect to the range of content that it can produce. So clearly, Gemini could eclipse ChatGPT in the output game. The second advantage that Gemini has is the use of proprietary data mentioned before in training. This gives Gemini a distinct edge in insights and influences it can take from a dataset. It remains to be seen how the Microsoft-backed ChatGPT will respond to this, but clearly, Google's Gemini could be a groundbreaking step up in the AI race.
subscribe to the federal's youtube page for more news and updates